Wow, are you done or? No, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Holy. Good morning everybody and or anybody. Christian made time for fishing here. Uh, if you haven't figured it out by now, I have a new kayak. It's a pedal drive kayak. It is the Pescador Pilot 12. It's a 12 foot, five inch kayak. Huge compared to my uh, lifetime Tamarack. I love my Tamarack. I'll probably still use it for some dock fishing sometimes, but I'm very excited to try this guy out. I did take it out once the other day just to make sure it was working. Did a little bit of fishing, not a lot of catching but I was trying to work out a lot of the kinks with how I'm gonna use this thing. It's all new to me. So the plan is to fish docks, structure, whatever I want. Hopefully I'm gonna be fishing some structure I wasn't able to fish previously today because uh, previously I couldn't hold my position in the current. Very excited to get a hang of this thing. There is a learning curve for sure, but I think I should be able to figure it out, hopefully, with enough time. I'm wearing my Waterland Co. sunglasses today. These are the Hybro with green mirror lenses. If you're interested in checking them out, they gave me a promo code that gets you 15% off. MT4F, links in the description below. But anyway, I'm just gonna cruise on over to my spot. Currently going just over four miles an hour, which is fast for a kayak. And yeah, I'll catch up with you at the docks. Thanks for watching and enjoy. So I'm using the half ounce Sheep Sticker Pro Jig from Bellwear Jigs today, at least to start out. And this one's in white, of course. And pairing that up with a Fiddler Crab. Just have Fiddler Crabs today, but I have a whole lot of them. So amount of bait should not be an issue. Can't imagine. And uh, the reel I'm using today is Cast King Speed Demon Elite. And uh, I actually decided to switch out the handle for a power knob handle. Unfortunately, it didn't fit stock, so I had to do a little bit of drilling out of the uh, reel assembly there, but that's all right. But today I'm using a seven foot uh, marathon inshore rod. I wanted to use a little bit of a longer rod with the bigger kayaks. I don't think I'll be able to get under docks as much. And uh, also with the front of the bow being longer, I need that extra maneuverability to uh, get around it if a fish runs around the front of the kayak. About 30 minutes until low tide. So probably approaching slack tide already. Yeah, that would be a sheep. Might need to consider going to a free line in just a second, at least while the current's dead. Wow. Well, that was exactly when I hit the bottom. I'll try one more and then I'll just do a free line. That one feels like a red. Yeah, that one's a red. And I barely got him, too. Yeah, let's switch to a free line, at least for this dock, while we try to figure some stuff out here. All right, just a plain size one mosquito hook, no weight. Let's get back to that spot. Let's drop in a free line and see how quickly this guy gets stolen. Oh, they already have it. A little sheep. another little one maybe slightly bigger but not really anyway I went with the 3 8 ounce sheep sticker jig as opposed to the half ounce sheep sticker pro jig because there's no current so I wanted something a little lighter geez just got demolished down there
pretty big. I think it's this sheep. Oh, wow. Okay, let's get away from the dock. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Well, that's starting the day off well. I didn't see that guy coming. Maybe it was him and not a redfish. Wow, I really need to get a new net. This thing keeps collapsing on me. So I don't uh, currently have a measuring board on here, which is not something I prioritize because I knew I wasn't keeping fish today. But uh, this guy's probably 18, 18 and a half. He's a thick fish, but let's get him back quick. I was getting hammered down there, so it's very possible there was more than one fish. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, so that's the rig right there. 3 8 ounce sheep sticker jig in brown with a uh, decent sized little fiddler crab on there. I'd gotten nailed a few times in there and the bites were so big I assumed it was a redfish until I hooked that guy. Oh yeah. This is a red. I think it's a red. Yeah. Puppy drum. These guys have been absolutely everywhere. Thank you. This feels like a sheep. Yeah, yeah. Pretty decent one. I don't think he's as big as the last one, but... Oof. Oh my gosh. You got me around the piling there. Tighten the drag. There we go. He's not huge, but he was running, that's for sure. He ran much harder than that last one, even though this guy's definitely not as big. Well, he's still not bad, that's also for sure. It's probably a 17. <sighs> Maybe a little bit bigger. Nice fish. But thankfully, I was able to uh, Reverse, oop, <laughs> there he goes. Able to reverse in the kayak. All right. Oh, casted that one. I think it's a red. Yeah, I casted that one now. <laughs> Don't really ever do that. Okay, buddy. If you were a couple inches bigger, you'd be fun size. Another red. This guy feels smaller though. We're just marking a ton of little reds down there maybe. So that one I think is another red. Yep. Come on, guys. I'm not trying to catch you. Definitely sheep. It's a little one, but. Probably still 10, 11, so not micro like those first couple I caught. I 
Here's the little one. Yeah. That was so classic sheep's head, it didn't even move for a minute there. This is a spot that always looks good, but I've never been able to fish it, because I can't really keep in position with this deep water and everything. So hopefully I can today. And the current might already be coming up with how that jig just went away over there. Wow. This has to be a red. Very, very poor leverage here. Let's try pulling them out backwards. Wow. Oh, it's a big black drum. Wow. <laughs> Holy cow. That is a good black drum too. Jeez. Thought it felt a little strange. Whew. Wow. I would have had zero chance without the pedal, pedal drive. Are you done or? No, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Holy. That might be my PB because uh, my previous PB is not that impressive. Oh, wow. Just need to keep him away from the dock and I should be okay here if I can outlast him. Wow, what a drum. <laughs> That's awesome. Come on, come here, don't run again thinking about it. Whew. Holy. Oh. Wow. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> At a minimum, he's got to be upper 20s. He is so dark, too. Wow. On the uh, sheep sticker jig there hammered that right when I got down there. It makes me hopeful there could be another one. I don't know though. That was just a crazy fight. These things are really strong. Look at him go. Not a bad one. Probably, probably around a keeper. Oh yeah, no, he's probably 15. Nice little keeper. All right, let's continue on. I'm gonna go try to explore and see if I can find uh, some new docks that I've never really traveled to 
just because it was sort of out of my range. I'll check back in when we're at the docks. This dock looks pretty promising. See how deep it is, but there's a lot of pilings and a lot of buildup, so I feel pretty good about it. Let's see if anybody's home. Also already running relatively low on bait. So we've had a productive day. Oh yeah, nice, it's deeper than I thought. It's about eight feet deep right here. There is one there. I think this is a red. Yeah. A little puppy drum. It's something. Been a bit quiet here for a few minutes now. Oh, dang it. I felt a little bit sheepy. Little sheep. Thank you. Oh, black drum, nice. Another good one, too. Not as big as the last one for sure, but it's the best place for me to take this guy. Don't know if there is a good place. Probably just gonna have to land him right here. Come on. Come on. Not the stiffest rod I could be using for this. Whew. It's another good one though. Whew. Man, it's another decent black drum. I don't catch a whole lot of them typically, but of course the light's gonna be directly on my back. This guy's probably only 21, 22, but he fought well in that tight space like that. Thought I might have had a giant sheep on for a second or even a good red with that first run, but let's get him back quick and possibly burn through the rest of our crabs over here. This dock seems to be holding a lot of fish. <laughs> good thing is they don't seem to mind the little baits right now. Decent sheep. Oh yeah, more than decent. That's a solid little sheep. Probably 15, maybe 16. Pretty guy. Probably another keeper. Oh yeah, definitely another keeper. Probably close to 15, I'd say. Okay, last two fiddlers going in. Uh, this is probably the fastest I've ever gone through a pint of fiddlers. Productive day, just lots of action. I missed a lot of bites earlier, which is And there we go, that's how we're ending it. Better than having the bait stolen. All right, ending the day on uh, the target species at least. See you buddy, thank you. Alrighty, well I'm on my way in now. Uh, quick trip, but with a lot of fish caught. A uh, bunch of pumpy drum, a couple of good sheeps at the beginning, then the sheeps kind of got spread out for a bit, but man, I really got some good black drum today. I'm already enjoying having this kayak because I would have definitely lost my PB black drum earlier if I hadn't had it and been able to backpedal. Uh, I've definitely hooked some big ones in the past before, at least what I suspected were big black drum. 
and every time they pull me towards the dock because they're just so big and powerful and uh, end up breaking me off. But now I was able to drag him out, prevent him from getting wrapped around the poles and everything. That was pretty sweet. Um, definitely a good use of the uh, kayak here. So it's definitely gonna be useful for fishing docks. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of the new kayak. Uh, if you have any suggestions, if you have the same model or if you have a pedal kayak in general, uh, suggestions on how I can use this thing better or set it up better, let me know. Uh, it's all brand new to me. Uh, I definitely need to uh, upgrade the rudder back there, get my turning a little bit tighter. I'll see you next time and remember to make some time for fishing. Bye.